Southern Vanguard Radio. This is DJ John Doe, and to the left of me Woo! is my man. Chino gonna work it out. Chino gonna work it out. Hey. Chino gonna work hey. it out. Hey. Cappuccino gonna work it out. Woo-hoo! Cappuccino Meeks, what's up, y'all? Cappuccino Meeks. What's happening, homie? Man, just trying to get through the weekend. Yeah, I know. And everybody be alive. Man, uh, <laughs> man, do we should we buy our heads for a moment? Like, I what you want to do? Dude. Nah, we're good, man. It's just, rough out here, man. <laughs> it's just a lot going on at all yeah, times. Yeah, so is for real, man. At all times, my brother. How are you, man? I'm good. I won't complain, homie. I'm... Could, but it wouldn't matter. Yeah, no it one cares. Matter. No one really cares. I'm just trying not to get caught up in this Popeye shit. <laughs> I don't want I don't want none of that, man. I'm telling you, man, I I'm so behind the eight ball on that shit. I don't even realize I don't, I, I literally like when you walked in, I I, I still didn't understand it. Like I, I mean we're really excited about a fucking chicken sandwich. Nah, don't don't put we on that shit now. No, That's I'm the, saying the, the general the world. No, the, not you. The eighty fivers <laughs> is out here right. crunk <laughs> off of this shit. <laughs> With me just just having to pass two Popeyes on the way to your crib, and I saw what was going down, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be in that number, man. Oh, I'm not doing man. that shit. I'm talking about they crazy. had they had lines wrapped around the building. The traffic was almost out in the street. <laughs> they got they got at least four Popeyes workers in the parking lot taking numbers on taking orders on clipboards. This shit is outrageous. So that people. picture of the lady on the bench, like exhausted. Yeah, is, 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 that's real is, shit. Is real shit. <laughs> they working the shit out of these motherfuckers, man, over a chicken sandwich, man. What the fuck is going on, man? Oh shit! <laughs> and then you know you got to take into consideration everybody over at Chick Fil A is worried because you know they shit might they, they got to fuck around and open on Sunday. Yeah, now. they gonna have to <laughs> to keep up. They bag is in jeopardy right now. Oh shit! They bag is in jeopardy right now, man. Chick Fil A is the Golden State Warriors of chicken sandwiches, man. They about to lose the the title, man. They about to lose this shit. They need Draymond Green to come in. <laughs> oh my god! I just trying. I just been the whole weekend, man. I just been trying to dodge Popeyes. Yeah, man. Meeks came in and said, "Man, yeah. Popeyes look like the goddamn trap trap right house, now. dude. They look, <laughs> look like they got two for five going over that <laughs> motherfucker. Niggas got garbage down the way, son. <laughs> come fuck with me. You know what I mean? Oh my god, it's funny shit I heard all I'm weekend. Telling you, man, oh, they shit. trapping. They trapping Whew. over there. Yeah, man. But other than that, man, just trying to dodge Popeyes, man, and <laughs> got a haircut and Ooh, you know laid good. laid low that's for the good. most part. That's stayed good. out the way, man. I got kind of blasted last night, man, on uh-huh. uh, some low key shit. Okay, just trying to you know keep my manhood intact. But that's about <laughs> it, homie, man. Just that weather was popping today, boy. It just got good today. You know what? Though I saw the first, I saw the first evidence of today. Though what's that? When I was mowing the yard, what's that? Those leaves on the ground. Yeah, they coming, man. It dropped below 80 here yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah. And the Yo, trees you know, are like, like 60-something trees this morning. Like, yeah, like, oh, shit. What, what's going on? We got to start dropping leaves. Yeah. Leaves not going to change color. My wife was saying that shit this morning, that today. She was like, she's like, yep, I saw those leaves on the ground. Those leaves drop before they even turn color. They just drop, and then they t- they change color on the ground. <laughs> Well, the thing you got, the thing you got, you got to realize is we days away from September. <laughs> oh, it ain't supposed to be this hot. So I'm hoping the weather we felt like what I felt this morning versus parts of yesterday. I'm hoping it's here to stay for no, quite the some okey time. Dope. It's yeah. the okey doke. I think it, it's the okey doke. It is because it's going to be 90 next week. Yeah. Next weekend is going to be 90. So yeah. we're going to get a little dip and it's going to come back it's and smack us back. one more time and yeah. then it'll cool off. Then again. it'll cool off. Yeah, that's so. what happens that's in August, up. September, man. So anyway. That's what's up. But yeah, that's about it, yeah, homie. It was, light. Right. It was light this weekend, man. All right, good. Yeah. Good. Yo, I got, actually, I got a good one for you. You know, I, I played at WREK last week. That's right. And I took my pastor with me. Did I tell you this? <laughs> yeah, me and my my you know my 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 pa- the pastor of my church is like my good friend now, like for real. <laughs> like, that's my homie. Like like I, Joe, 
Like my man Joe, like is listen to the podcast. Yo, you wild. He listened to the pod. He he listened to the podcast. Wild. I saw him today. I saw him today at Boy Scouts at Cub Scouts <laughs> this afternoon, and he said, "He's like John. I was listening to your podcast." And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "He's like, who's the gentleman you were interviewing?" I was like, "Mav." He's like, "Yes, Mav." He's like, "I know. I know you were talking about Hobgoblin." And um, but you know, uh your friend Eddie Meeks, um, he was talking about um like how wary you have to be of getting in the neighborhood pools because it feels like a uh you know warm bath water because of all the crazy stuff that's going on in a pool in a neighborhood pool. And he was like, I felt that. He's like, I understood that. He's like, Now this weekend I was not at a neighborhood pool, I was at somebody who had a pool in their backyard. So I wasn't worried about that. And he was he was entertained. Well, good for him. But yeah, man. Praise what the Lord. What up, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what the best was though? So I took him, right? And uh, uh and uh, and Super Superstition was mm. the was a guest MC that night. Shouts out to Super. Yeah, what up, Super? And uh but I didn't tell anybody like what Joe did. I just said, Yeah, this is my friend Joe. And uh, when we got there, Randall like put him to work. Cause, cause he, cause he was light on, 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 you know, his help or staff, you know, yeah. the people, the staff. So like Joe was doing camera work like half the night. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> but the best you, thing is, what's the up? best thing is, is like, so from across the room, I said, you know, y'all need to, you know, you need, you need to meet. Cause I was telling Joe who, you know, who super was and they ended up talking. And so like, after we wrapped up at the end of the night, we were outside in the little, you know, little lobby area there after, after, you know, after the show lets yeah. out. And, uh, <laughs> I went to talk to Soup. I was like, man, you know, you killed it because, of course, he, you know, he came with freestyles crazy you oh, know, yeah. at the end of the show. He's like, yeah, man. He's like, you know, I was talking to Joe and uh, he's like, I didn't realize, John, that like he's he's the pastor at your church. And like Cam, Cam was looking at me kind of yeah. crazy like, why didn't you tell me that right. this is the pastor at your church? I was like, no, man, that's part of the surprise. Like, man. enjoy that. I thought you were going to tell me y'all had a word of prayer before y'all went on oh, air, man. No, no, nah, nah, man, dude. I that's mean, that's crazy. That's hey, good, man. That's good to be tight hey, with man, them like cool, that, man. man. You it's, had it's, access it's cool. to the collection plates and all types of shit. <laughs> Things are looking up yeah, over here man. at Southern Vanguard Radio. So, uh, Just watch. <laughs> touch your, touch yeah, your computer man. right now <laughs> for these blessings. Cassie blessing. Cassie Vanguard blessings. <laughs> Somebody yeah, got man. a belly ache out there. Touch your touch your iPhone, your iPhone right now and be blessed. Word. So yeah. So that's that what's was, up, homie. So that was dope. Yeah, yeah, man. So actually, probably next week. We haven't really talked about this, but I, I'm going to be hemmed up next week. There's not going to be any show next week. Okay, cool. By the way, uh, Labor Day, and I got family yeah, in town. Yeah, I, I just realized Labor Day was next weekend, yeah. man. So we're probably going to air that uh, that air that. Um, the the mix from last week we'll air that next week so we don't have a gap from W R A K yeah yeah from W R A K so you'll be able to check out the mix it all works out that brutal freestyle that Superstition had at the end oh that's my what's god up. Woo. That's anyway what's up. so yeah piece of Ramo yeah techniques yep Georgia Wrecking Crew Tech all Radio Star, Georgia yeah. Tech Radio all that shit yeah. no doubt all right so let's get to it let's do it this is Southern Vanguard Radio we drop twice a week uh twice a week Doe here, twice a week Meeks over yeah. there. John Doe and Eddie Meeks. Uh, you know, we're uh we're here in the lovely uh metropolitan Atlanta area, if you will. Yes, the bourbon room uh, the of bourbon, Marietta. That's right, of Marietta, Georgia. Yes. Um uh, Yeah, so uh this is just, we this is a hip hop podcast. On Tuesdays we have a mix show of all the latest and greatest hip hop, all new shit every week, uh lots of exclusives. Uh, lots of bullshitting and just you know, uh, general fuckery from uh, my man Meeks and me here. And we got uh, bourbon know, tonight, we got y'all. Bar- we got some good shit tonight. It's gonna got be a different show tonight. type of night. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then on, uh, let's see. So on uh, Tuesdays is a mix show. On Thursdays is an interview session with an MC or DJ or photographer or mm-hmm. fashion uh, magnet. M- <laughs> oh, that's fancy. That's, yeah. I- that's. <laughs> Now see, see, I, I that that's that's actually you might have won up my cavalcade. Uh, <laughs> the use of cavalcade last week you in the show. Kill me with that shit. <laughs> I'm glad you caught that. shit. I caught the hell out of that shit. <laughs> cavalcade. So, uh, so anyway, you know, just just basically, folks that like, you know, we fuck with in this, you know, this sphere of hip hop that we we all love and. For the culture. Yeah, for, for the culture, if you will. Um, so yeah, it's on Thursday. So make sure you subscribe. And just tell somebody, you know, Apple Podcasts, Mixcloud, mm-hmm. Stitcher Radio, uh, Spotify Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, 
Yeah, I think I had all the major ones. And some yeah. affiliates too, right, Meeks? Yeah, I am classic, rawradio.net. Although I've been thinking about them lately. I want to check them on there and make sure that's still viable. They're still rolling. I saw I saw it this weekend. I was okay, well, so much Googles. for that. Yeah. We're good. Uh, Return to Boom Bap, WRBB, uh, x Radio, x Affiliates, and um, ATLHipHop.com, all of those here in Atlanta. And then we venture out to the West Coast with Soul Public Radio out in Cali. All right. Yeah. Yes, sir. So last week, uh, we were in upstate New York. We're going to stay there this week. We just how many interviews do you think we've done? With I don't folks know, man. But it's time to start looking year. at uh, real estate properties, and rentals, <laughs> I think man. So. I, I got a I got a good feel for like the Rochester, Niagara Falls area. Like I'm feeling, <laughs> Buffalo, all that I shit. feel pretty good about it, man. That dope music coming out of that, man. Some yeah, real man. good people. Yeah, you know what no I'm saying. Doubt. I'm. I bet the fishing is amazing. No doubt. You know what I'm saying. So Word. we might need to look into that might, shit. We man. might. We might. All right, so without any further ado, yeah, adieu, hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the OG one and Piff. only Jamal Gasol, oh. OG Piff, man, Piff, Piff, man, what's up? What's good, man? What's, what's good, good, Jamal? We chilling, man. Thanks for uh, being in here with us tonight, man. We appreciate it. What's up, man? Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Word. So, Jamal, what in the hell is going on in Niagara Falls, man? Is it the water, Jamal? What is it? Y'all, y'all just, y'all just man. illing just to be illing? Like, what's what's happening? I don't know if that's a trick question <laughs> or <laughs> well, <laughs> what's I, going on in Niagara Falls. It's going down, man. Yeah, it's here, clearly. Man. It's, you know, these small cities is it, going down just like the big cities, man. It's just smaller, so the impact looked more effective because it's the smaller population. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah. It's only, it's only like under 50,000 in the whole city, I believe. Yeah. Like only under 50,000 people in the whole city. Okay. Did you say 50,000 or 150,000? I think he said 150. No, no 50. 50. 50,000. Damn, really? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the population is pretty small. Damn. All right. Okay. Interesting. So, so Jamal, you had a pretty big week last week, uh, given your part of this Big Turks project, dude. Let's just start there, and then we can maybe work our way back and talk about some of the other, you know the prior releases and a little history. But this Big Turks shit just dropped on Friday. Let's start there. Yeah, well, um, yeah, man. Um, shout out my boy Jordan Commander, man. He played a big role in putting the Big Turks together, man. He put me, the homie Long Streets, Lord Juco together, man. Shout out to the homies. I um I already worked with them previously, you know what I'm saying? So to come together on a project with them was was, was dope for me. I'm like, we I already like their music. Yeah. I, I already worked with them already. We got songs together that got good feedback, so I know they're gonna like this, man. Um basically the project was, was based on um the movie Lion Man. Uh, it was a uh, there's a movie Jordan actually sent it to me to watch and I checked it out. It was it was like a it was like a Turkish kung fu type movie. You know what I mean? It was like the, the you know the fat the mouth movement don't match the words that's coming out of the TV. <laughs> right. Okay. The old the old Chinese connection. Days, you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. like that. But um, basically, I watched the movie and got a basically a feel off it. And did some research on Turkish culture. You know what I mean? So I used like a lot of different um references, such as like historical figures. Food, clothing, like I, I see a lot of different Turkish things on there, and um, the project so far from what I see is a success, man. Is my 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 Instagram is going crazy, man. I got so many Turkish people inboxing me. I got to go to Google Translator just to see what they say. That's crazy. Oh, what? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, That's wild. Dope, man. It's dope. Yeah. So, so uh, people from Turkey. I don't know a damn thing about Turkish anything. I mean, like uh, I wouldn't even know where to start. I don't even have like a, a layman's, you know. I know like, Camel cigarettes have a Turkish blend of tobacco that they use. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Turkish turkey. I think. I think. Uh, I think they got some good hash over there. Um, turkey hash. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like I've 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 I, I just zero. I just emptied my whole 
Turkish bag. Cachet. Yeah, everything, <laughs> man. I just dropped it with them two mentions right there. So, but to 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 put a put to put a whole project together based off of a movie and 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 samples from Turkish folk music, like like this wasn't no fly by night project, was it? Like they couldn't. Have nah, been. nah. This is something. We've been working on this for oh, going on a year. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this has been under the wrap mm. since about last September, October. Wow. Okay. This is, yeah, it's been it's been in the rush for like a year. We were talking about it, and I did I did most of this this music last year and earlier this year. And, you know, the features came through. Um, it was a few other cats that was actually supposed to be on the project, but I'm assuming things didn't work out, but. The lineup we got is still dope. You know what I'm saying? Shout out oh, to yeah. Rim, Planet Asia, yeah, Oda Grace, Napoleon the Legend. You know what I'm saying? Solomon Child. It was, it was just the, the features played well with the chemistry that Great we put features, together man. and wrote, wrote data with the production. You know what I mean? The beats was dope. You know what yeah. I mean? So we just made it all work. They made everything like a Turkish feel. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Supreme Cerebral's on that joint too, right? Did we mention his name? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Supreme on there, he on um, or uh, he's on right on before leave it, leave it to the Turks. Yes, sir. Persian Dope. carpet, Persian carpet, he on there. Dope. That's oh. crazy. Yeah, you know, Jordan has actually helped us out a good bit probably over the past six to eight months just lining up interviews. We've we've been connecting and kind of like he helped us help connect us connect us with like with Spesh and Shay uh, Shay Noor and. You know, a lot of folks, you know, from kind of around, you know, your way in upstate New York. Um, but I mean, like, why, like, why this movie? Like, what was the, what was the, why, pit, why what was the, the pitch? Movie? Yeah. Like, why what, this movie? Like, what was his pitch? What, what, Lost of uh, Lion Man? Yeah. 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 Like, why, like, why, why did, why did you decide to do this? He was, he was, he was, he was, he was uh, what you would have considered as like a gifted, he's like a mutant. He had a special power. His hands would, would turn into these big claws, like a lion's paw, basically. Okay. He would, and, and he, I, I believe he was just coming back into the city. I ain't watched the movie. I ain't watched the movie since I wrote my like a rap a rapper or two. Right, gotcha. I ain't gonna hold you. Been a few months. Yeah, yeah. But, okay. Uh, basically, basically, um, he was he was a he was, he was an Avenger. I would just put it that he was an Avenger. Okay. So, Gotcha. Something happened that he came back, but he, I guess as a child, he, he, he had like a, a special mutation of his hands or something. But it was, um, it was different things like about Turkey that we had to look into besides just that movie. Like that was the concept, but just the fact as, 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 as far as Turkish culture, yeah. like, um, I was talking about Mavi jeans, which is like a, a designer jean in the, um, in Turkey. And then, um, okay. Like Chilean stems, you know what I'm saying? Those, those are like those are like uh, bowls. You know, I mean, people how we smoke how we smoke the weed out the bowls. It's like Chilean stems is what they're called over there. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So those different things you had to research as far to like I felt to relate to the people in Turkey because I don't I don't know nobody from Turkey. Like I seen like two or three people on my SoundCloud from Istanbul, but. Right. See, this is this is something I'm trying to make an impact on. So I, I did a little I did a little more for my verses. Yeah. Right, gotcha. That's yeah. What's up? So, so when's the tour? I mean, when are y'all going to Turkey? I man, mean, they for going real. to Turkey. <laughs> y'all going son. to Turkey? They oh, going. Man. <laughs> Dude, when we get when, we, when the booking comes through, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting their boxes about coming to Turkey. They, they want us to come. I they got to go. I'm telling you, That's they going. Word. Watch. <laughs> They're they gonna roll the rugs out for us. Yeah, oh, okay, they gonna re-release. The they gonna re-release the movie, and they gonna have they go. yeah. <laughs> they're gonna have Big Turks come out and and solidify the whole shit. It's gonna be an awesome night, man. <laughs> See Jamal, you need Mix to yeah. have, to do marketing for y'all, right? He can he can he can line the whole shit up with the with the fucking fucking movie. We we'll get, we'll we'll get Camel to sponsor it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We put, we put the ticket together. We make something happen, man. Something I, like happen. This, I like this thought process right here. Man, man like it's, it's going down. I'm telling you. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So, uh, so Jamal, I'll take it you guys weren't in the lab together putting this, putting all this together. I, I, I mean, you guys are spread out all over the fucking North America for the most part. Yeah, yeah. We was, um, 
Juco did his in Toronto. I know Rome did his out of Brooklyn. I did mine out, out the crib. I got the studio in the crib, so I'd be recording okay. right out of here. Okay. So, you know what I mean? It'd be nothing to get a verse done. You know what I mean? I, I, I like to be, I just lock right in. Right. And, and make it happen. So, I, it didn't take me long. You know, we dope. all just sent out a, sent out a um, verses back to the to the producer and um, Jordan, and they put together the whole project. You know oh, what I mean? Gotcha. So, gotcha. I, I heard the project like a month ago before it dropped and I'm like, yo, okay, I like how this sound. I didn't know the exact order of the project though. The way he sent it to me was out of order. Oh, okay. But the sequence, <laughs> the final sequence that they put together, it's dope, man. The feedback been crazy, man. That's all I can tell you. It's been, it's been mad love. Mm, that's dope. I mean, the, the the three main MCs and then you, you add these, this, this, this feature list. I mean, that's, that's, that's definitely right up our alley, man. Like, you know, oh hell yeah! You know, we fucking with it heavy, so don't even worry about it, man. It's it's good shit, man. Um, uh, hey Jamal, what you working on in the crib? Because I always thought about getting a set up, you know, at least just to drop verses. What what you got over there? I got um, I got a I got a desk, a regular desktop with the um, two computers. I believe it's um, uh, I'm recording on the Studio One. Okay, recording. Familiar with that? I'm recording. Yeah, I found a joint for the low, man. Because, I, mean, I, I mean, it's really just about the mix and mastering. It ain't about the program you use sometimes. Yeah. As long as you got somebody yeah. that can make it sound good. So, yeah. yeah I mean, sure. I'll, I'll, spend maybe under, I'll spend maybe under a stack for everything. That's dope. The, um, the MR524. I got some five inch studio monitors. I got a little desktop um, computer. I got a 32 inch TV with the HDMI cord connected. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I just, I just come in here and vibe out, record. And make it happen, man. Yeah, I got, man. I got that. <laughs> Dope. I need to get my shit together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Like, what you be with me? What you about your Pro Tools and all that? Oh, uh, well, what, you know, what, I, you I, I come. I got a couple of spots. I, I'm either I'm either at DJ Pockets Crib. Or I'm over at John's Crib. They 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 pretty much you know both set up equally, you know. But it's you know logic. Um, Oh okay. yeah, John. Yeah, good too. Um, Studio One over at Pockets. He got a couple of different shits over there, so it's just you know, it's just a matter. But I always wanted to like just have a little something at the crib, not even to produce or nothing like that, mm-hmm. but just you know, if if somebody sent me something and I I wanted to turn around real quick, I at least mm-hmm. have a mic and 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 whatever else right. I need to do what I got to do. So I'm you know that's what I'm talking about. Now, I feel the, I feel the same way too, man. Yeah, that's how I was. That's how I was. Like I was like I'm tired of having a book a session. Yeah, or you know what I mean. Have to try to get in contact with the with the engineer to see when he's free. Yeah, so, you know I might just make one in my own crib. You know what I'm saying? I've been like that for years. I always had like an in house uh, studio. Yeah, John don't got all these kids over here, man. So it kind of cramped my <laughs> rap lifestyle <laughs> sometimes, man. But uh, but we work it out, man. We work it out. It's all good, J- Jamal. Are you self taught? Yeah, I was gonna ask. Are you self taught there, man? Like in like, are you just teach yourself how to do that, or you had somebody you know show you around Studio One, or this is how you get your vocals right, oh. or how'd you figure all that shit out, man? See, see, back in the day, I used to record on Vegas. Back when like Acid and all that was oh, around, oh yeah, like, okay, Acid and Vegas. Yep, I used to rec- um, record on there. I know I, I knew how to do my verse and stuff on there, but. I really don't know how to do my stuff on Studio One. I send it out to my boy, and he makes the master it for me. He's he's one of the best engineers in the area up here. Like he's okay. well known in Western New York. You know what I mean? So, gotcha. my boy Rob, my boy Rob, do all my engineering. Man. He's a, he's a beast. He makes he make all the music that I produce. Like me that I release, he make it sound good. He do a good job. Nice. Gotcha. Okay. So, what what were you gonna ask me? I was gonna ask Jamal about the Pac Man days. From Atlanta. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, I wanted to bring that I gotta, up. I got to get. I got to get in on this now. Now, on Pac Man. Yeah. Now, when was when was you in Atlanta, Jamal? I I lived in Atlanta. Um, I lived in Atlanta two thousand five. Okay. I went to North Springs High School down there. I oh went to North shit! Springs on, um, what's that? Roswell. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I went to North Springs down there. Um. Uh, Pac Man actually just did he, he went, where he went to Westlake? Pac Man Jones down there. Did he, he go to Westlake? Lake. I, I don't oh, know. Yeah, I, don't know. 
I know Cam Newton came from Westlake. I don't think Pat Man was, yeah. was at Westlake. Yeah, Pat Man went to Westlake. Cam what? Newton did too. When I went there, when I, when I was playing, um, Cam Newton had just left. I think he went to a Juco before he went to Auburn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but when I was in Atlanta, yeah, I was down there in 2005, man. That was that was different for me. That's when I really like. I started rapping because yo, them boys down there can spit too, man. They be he would be like flexing on the south, and them boys be having vibes down there. Yes, and it's, Gigi was out at this time. Gigi was that that nigga. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Oh five, Gigi yeah, was that nigga. Yeah, for real. <laughs> he just dropped his final project this week too. Thug motivation. Yeah, I, know. I just checked that joint out. Something. Didn't I see him doing the weather or some shit on Weather Channel? It's what was prob- that shit? Probably, man. He had some big event. He had ma- a major event this weekend, man. Shouts out to the snowman <laughs> on, his, bird, on man. his retirement. Thank you. <laughs> Seventeen five, no doubt. So, so, so Jamal, back back to the Pac Man thing. Uh, I, I saw in an interview somewhere that you were going to go by that name, but you, you kind of switched it up because there was somebody back at home or whatever that was already already going by Pac-Man. So you you just decided to go by Jamal Gasol. I mean, where the fuck did you come up with the name at? I mean, that is the most... Like, you know what I'm saying? They both go in here, right? I feel right. Everybody got nicknames, yo. Everybody got a nickname, I swear to God. Like, nobody... <laughs> Nobody goes by the original name up there. Everybody right. got a nickname. So I chose Pac Man, you know what I'm saying? Because I liked um, colors. And the, the most ah, colors, yeah, Pac Man yeah, was yeah. the top. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? That wasn't on the top. It was like the most hated. Yeah. You know, mm. That's my aspect of like the most hated. Yeah. But there was another dude up here named Pac Man, too. And then a, a dude in Buffalo was named Pac Man. Like, I just ain't going to work. Right. Mm-hmm. So one day I just say, you know, I'm just gonna call myself Jamal Gasol, and I just stuck with it. I don't know where the name came from. <laughs> I don't know how I came up with it. I was I was in school one day, and just I called myself Jamal Gasol. <laughs> That's how it happened. <laughs> it just came to you. It just it just handed down it just by came God. To me. No, Man. no cap. That's the only. That's how I came. Just came to me. I, mean, I couldn't tell you like where that came to my mind. At. I like it. I like it. They like it. You know That's what I mean? Crazy. I like it. They look good on shirts. Good. <laughs> it's an ill name. I That's mean, it really crazy. is. I mean, I, I actually the the first time I heard of you, I was like. Damn, that's a dope name. Like, I wonder what the story is behind that. And then when I started doing some digging around this week, and I was like, wait, there's no story to this name? Like, this just doesn't even make sense. I thought it was going to at least that's be a, like the basketball role yeah, related the long, or something. The long lost brother of Mark and Powell. Right. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> None of that. None of that. Don't even, even show me no love. I'll be speaking. They don't respond to They don't respond to shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah. So, so Jamal, you've been on a tear though. Really, twenty nineteen. I mean, you, you've had a bunch. Eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Yeah, as well. I mean, a lot of shit in eighteen. So you you sent me the Kansas mm-hmm. City Smackman shit a couple of weeks ago. No joy without pain. Three's been out. I mean, what what's your what's your mm-hmm. motivation with all this rap shit, man? Like, what's like why? I, I like to I like to twist it up, you know what I mean? I like to I like to give you the same thing but in a different view. Excuse me. You know what I mean? I don't like to keep giving the same style of music. I feel like that's what bores people. Like that bores the fans once you continue to give them that same sound. If you can't present it in a different way, it's not interesting. Mm-hmm. So Good point. Kansas City Snack Man, you know, that's just a that's like a that's a that's a player feel, you know what I mean? That's some straight pimp player feel right there, you know what I mean? Get to the bag, get your little shorty, you know what I mean? Enjoy your L, kick it, you that nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's that player feel, as opposed to no joy without pain, which was that's like a a, a a music autobiography of three phases in my life that I went through, you know what I'm saying? Part one was before my case. And then part two came when I caught my case. I had caught a, um, a criminal possession charge back in 2018. Mm. So I was just basically speaking on my life, like what I was going through at that time. I didn't know if I was going to go to jail or not. Luckily, I was um, given drug court. 
So I finished that in like 16 months. Mm. And then I'm getting a felony. So no joke without paying three was just my mindset on the during the process of going through drug court, getting my body together, getting my mind right, and being focused and dedicated to music 100 percent because oh. I was I was one foot in, one foot out. You know what I mean? I was still in the streets. I'm rapping, but I'm putting more time into the streets than I am into my craft. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that was and the situation I ended up being in was a result of doing that. So Things happen for a reason, man, because sure. I don't know what would have happened if I didn't get drug court. You know what I mean? So things could be different. I could probably, I'd be in prison right now. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I'm just going to appreciate what I'm able to do and, and spread my, my talent to the world. Yeah, I know I know that route all too well, man. My brother my brother caught, uh, caught some luck uh, by getting that, that drug court thing, too. He was looking at, like, 27 joints. <sighs> and, uh... God. Ended up getting drug caught and breezed through that shit and never looked back, man. My brother, totally different person right now, man. So salute to you for for getting your shit together and realizing what's important and what's not. That shit is real. Facts, man. Hell Facts. yeah. Sometimes, sometimes things that like happen to you to see what, what what you're really supposed to be doing. Oh, he tells me every day them twenty seven joints he was looking at. He was like, "Man, if there's any way I can get up out of this shit, I will do whatever it takes." No doubt. And he got he got his shot. He worked it out, man. So so salute to you, man. And I hope you you stay on the path you on, man. Word. Thank you, Marlon. Hell yeah, yo. So- due to the fact that you do like to switch it up and and whatnot, does that keep you? Does that kind of keep you on your toes, like? Does it keep you from um, putting out too much music? You think? Well, it puts me. It, it really it keeps me. It keeps me creative. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it keeps my creativity up. But I've got enough music where I can slow down. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't really have to jump like I did last year. I, but between the, the collaboration projects and solo projects, I dropped on ten ten different projects last year. Okay. So this year. You know, what I mean, this year is like okay, let let them marinate with what I dropped last year. Give them a few new joints here, and just show my appreciation to the fans, and then just build for twenty twenty. You know, what I mean, right. it's about the marathon. You know, what I mean, people be in it for the short ride, thinking anything just gonna work out. You gotta be in it for the long haul. Gotta be in for the long haul, so, right? Yeah, that's right. Definitely, it's been, it's just it's strategy. It's all strategy, no doubt. That's what's up. Hey, uh, speaking of switching it up, Jamal. <laughs> Um, I love the cut that you did on uh, Recognize Reels, uh, Bridges and Tunnels LP. Mm. We we were, we were all premiered that here mm-hmm. actually. Yeah, and um, yeah, yeah, I, I peeped when y'all did that. Yeah, um, and uh, you know, I was just, I was just, you know, these days I'm always happy just to see a joint that's over. You know, I don't know, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four beats a minute. <laughs> So, yeah, that shit is so, rare these days. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and you know, uh, you know, I, I got to be honest with you, man. I don't think I've really heard you on a track like that to date, at least that I can recall off the top of my head. So, man, when I played that joint, because you know, uh, Jordan, you know, sent me two joints uh, from uh, from Rex album, and you know, that was the one that I picked <laughs> the world premiere. And um, man, that's a hell of a record, dude. Like. Do you think I that? Appreciate it. I mean, what 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 are your thoughts on you? Because know, we've been we've been down like we've been down like in in the in the you know in the seventies and eighties BPM wise. Like I don't want to I don't want to nerd out too much on this, but you know I, I mean shit, man. I'm I'm forty two years old, dude. So you know I you know it's you know I, I appreciate you know you know so I I kind of see like some. Uh, like higher tempo shit kind of like making a making a little bit of a comeback like we paid a we played a joint last week from uh from terminology and dame grease it was like a little up tempo like I mean, you you may not think about it that much but as a dj you know i kind of do um you know you know who you know who you know who you know who does a good job with the upper tempo beat is, is freddie gibbs mm. freddie gibbs beat Freddie Gibbs be getting those beats and make good songs on them. Yeah, he does. He, I, I got I, I shot him out. He's definitely somebody that, that gets into the nineties BPM and makes a decent song like like Benny's Fire Fifty. That's 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 like a, a, right. a nine ninety something B 
VPN. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I pay attention to stuff like that. And, and you do. Okay. To make it come back. You're right. Okay. That's why I want, that's why, that's why I try to do different things because you, once you get stuck to the norm, you know what I mean? It's hard to get out of that. And some people get lost. You yeah. Know it's man? easy so to get stuck be and lost. And for real. Be yeah. versatile. Yeah. 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 That shit goes a long way. Hmm. So, so did you pick that beat from Rec? Like, did he send you a batch and you picked that, or he sent you the joint that he that you wanted to, to that he wanted you to be on? Um, if I'm not mistaken, man, I feel I think Rex sent me sent me that beat, or he sent me two beats. But the other beat was fire. That joint fire. I like that song. I was wait. I didn't know when he was going to drop it. I, I was hitting up a few times. And when you gonna release that joint? Oh I yeah, think, I liked it when I recorded. I'm like, yo, this is fire right here. Yeah, the whole thing like, like that, like that fentanyl clip that was in the beat. That wasn't no like news clip or nothing. Like he already put put that in the beat. Like, oh really? I just basically made the song off of that. Like, yeah, that's dope. Cause, cause that's an epidemic. That's an epidemic where I'm at. So I'm like, yo, that's just crazy. Like, for him to put that in the beat. Like the the hair the opiate air is crazy up here yeah. in western new york yeah it's it's wild everywhere man i i think they're i hope they're about to get a uh get that's what's in that goddamn that chicken sandwich that's probably what it is homie <laughs> they they got the, 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 the motherfucker that's exact in the bread and dog i just it just hit me it just hit me. <laughs> no, it's a special sauce. It's probably, it's probably a special sauce. It's the butter. You're right. It's the butter that they butter the buns with. That opioid sauce. That good opioid oh, sauce. Opioid butter. Oh, sauce. <laughs> opioid butter. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's foul. Hey, Jamal, I like your, I like your website, man. Um, I see your, your, your merch, your merch is, is looking good and, and moderately priced. Um, especially mm-hmm. when when you think about cats in the in the in the upstate New York area, they got some prices on they shit, boy. But uh, but yours is like <laughs> yours is like right where it, where it should be, where it needs to be. Is that like a, a a conscious thought that you put into uh displaying your merch on your website, or you just uh just trying to make it fair for I, everybody? What's what's the deal with that? Well, I, I like I like to be treated how. I like to treat others how I like to be treated. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when I think about the fans, as as put myself in the fan position, you know, I'm I'm not going to expect every fan to have a bunch of money or be dying to spend money with me. So, you know, right. at least if I can spend like $20 or 30 bucks with you, you know what I mean? Cool, I'll take that. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not about to start overly pricing people at like $100 for a t-shirt yeah. or like $200 for a hat. You know, it's some People be out here charging some ridiculous prices, oh, and they yeah. get paid. Yeah, they that's getting fine, it though. Yeah, that's cool. They get that's fine, but you know what I mean. I'm that that I, that that seems like a short term goal right there to me. Because after right. a while, somebody else gonna have the same quality for a cheaper price. Right. Then, you know what I mean? Then what you gonna do? Yeah. So, you know, I, I treat it. I treat it just like the streets. You know what I mean? You, I, I was giving it to them at a good price, and you know. They gonna keep coming back. It's, it's a supply and demand thing. When you know, oh, what I mean, God. when you got a good supply of merchandise for the fans, and and make and make it limited. You know, what I mean, oh, I don't know God. if you see on there. I got like only a limited amount of every every music item from the vinyls to the CDs. I got everything limited. You know, what I mean, just just so it creates it, it holds its value. Yeah. Oh, know, I see that. Got it today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you uh, try you try to get some shit that's sold out right now. You you're gonna you're gonna fucking fork it over on Discogs or oh, eBay God. or whatever the fuck, man. For yeah. almost every release you've right. had out, man, is fetching a high dollar on the on the on the third party market. Right, because it's, right, it's only a certain amount of these discs ever made. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. That, that, that right there just shows the value too. Well, I got my wallet set on this Billy Red Piff Head t shirt, man. That's just hard. Be, be looking out for my order, man. I'm getting this <laughs> motherfucker right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got I got something in the works right now. I'm I'm, I'm gonna have another item up probably by next Friday. Okay. That's what's up. I'll oh, keep yeah, looking man. out for this. This mm-hmm. motherfucker cold. The motherfucker <laughs> kinda look like me smoking. So I got to get this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jamal, how'd you get into this rap shit, man? Like, why'd man, you... Man, I, 
I've I've been in the music since I was a shorty, man. My my mom used to play rap since I was a kid. My uncle was a, a, a big DJ in the area around here, man. My uncle Chill Will, he you know, he passed away like two years ago, man. So actually three years, if not mistaken, man. R. P. My uncle Chill Will, hmm. yeah, he passed away, and um, and my stepdad Dougie, it was this. They always playing rap music, you know what I mean? Everything we did, they was upstairs DJing all the time or in the attic and just heard the hip hop music, you know what I'm saying? And I, I liked it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, this is dope, just being creative with words. And I used to read books. My mom used to make me read a lot of books when I was younger. So I had like a, a big Dr. Seuss set of books. So just the fact that I already rhyming in the books, you know what I'm saying? And then listening to rappers rhyme and stuff, I thought it was kind of dope. So I I just, I tried it myself. Like I wrote I wrote my first rap when I was in like fourth grade. You know what I'm saying? It was it was some stupid shit. I really don't even remember what I wrote, but I was real confident, like, yo, this is hot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought I was about to blow up then. But like yeah, I've been doing music since I was maybe twelve years old on a serious note. Oh really? I'm 28 now, so like, wow. I was like maybe like 16 years in, but like, like 1920 is when everything really started. Like, this is what I want to do. This is really what I want to do. When I got older, like when okay. I was younger, it was just a hobby. You know what I'm saying? Writing raps in my composition book and shit like that, recording right. raps and just you know what I mean, playing it at home or playing it for my homies and shit. Like I wasn't really thinking about trying to really take it further than you know what I mean outside of Niagara Falls. Gotcha. I ain't never seen nobody make it, so. Yeah, I mean, I, that's wild. I, I don't I don't know one person from Niagara Falls, period, on some rap I'm shit. I'm going to tell you two people. I'm going to tell you the only two people from Niagara Falls you probably heard of. And that's Johnny Flynn. Uh, he was in the NBA. He got drafted before Steph Curry. You hmm. know what I'm saying? He was, oh, he was big, him and okay. all, out of Syracuse. And then my boy um Buck Starks, he um he he got a, he got a ring with Green Bay. He, he played with um Aaron Rodgers. Hmm. Oh shit! Then, oh, you know Rashad Evans. Rashad UFC. Evans. Oh yeah, UFC. the uh, UFC fighter. Yeah. Yeah, he's from Niagara Falls too. Nice. Yeah, but on some music shit. Yeah, ain't nobody here from the music. Jamal Gasol. Man, man. I can name, yeah, Jamal. I, I, I can name some rappers you probably never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of them, probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? I see. Yeah. I, I see. I had talked to my boy Jag one time. Shout out to G Four. Yeah, yeah man. Talking, he, 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 lived in, he lived in Niagara Falls. I knew him. We yeah. worked together before. Yeah, he said he was up there for a minute, he, and um, yeah, we talked. Uh, <laughs> Talked to Mav last week. He said he said the reason why y'all got it cracking right now is that y'all not affected by the main all the mainstream shit. Would you agree with that? Like you can kind of like tap into like exactly yeah. who you are without being affected by what uh what what everybody else is doing. You're right. That he is right because that was an issue at a point in time. A lot of us was trying to fit in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But now that just just being yourself is what's, what's working. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't care about half the mainstream shit because it'd be trash anyway. Exactly. So I'll, I'll be. I'll be catching some hotter songs from cats on Bandcamp or people that that ain't even mainstream. There's some dope music in the underground scene, man. Very I can true. name about twenty, thirty underground artists. People would be like they never heard of, but there's some people who, if you really listening, you you heard of him. You heard of this person. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm. Very true. Why'd you get into uh, rhyming, Jamal? Did, did you try to do anything else? I mean, you said you had a family member that was a DJ. Like, did you dabble in production why at all? Care? Or, yeah, like, why rhyming? Like, why, why, you know, there's a few things you could get into, like, music wise. Like, you could have gotten in, into production or DJing or done something else. Like, why rhyming? Well, since a kid, my, my, my mom always told me I had a, I had a voice. And you know what I mean? Uh, and all the teachers was, was always saying I had like a, a unique voice since since I was a child. My my voice carried and it was deep for a little boy. You know what I mean? Okay. So I just I just always wanted to do something with my voice. Though I just felt like it, I just wanted to be heard. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So okay. 
So I, rapping was really it for me. You know what I mean? Just to, trying to find putting my voice together because I, I I was I was never into production like making beats. I never was really into like engineering and stuff like that. I just wanted to be the rapper. Like I always wanted to rap. Gotcha. Like I just I just let me just talk. You know what I mean? I like I, I already, I'm a I'm a I'm a very charming person already. I know how to speak with people. <laughs> so if I could rap and get the attention the same way I talk to people, I know I could do it. Right. You confident. You confident too. Uh, that 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 right. goes a long way in the rap world. <laughs> Confidence Absolutely. at all time you high. Be confident. Yeah. If you if you can holler at a girl, you can rap. You could rap. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> That's a fact. Hell yeah. So Jamal, in a short amount of time, I mean you, you got a pretty extensive discography and collaborations. Like what what project or collaboration? It, it could just be a single song, like uh kind of like exemplifies what it is that you do best. Or, or what you stand for? Uh, well, I, if, out of out of my um, out of my catalog, man, it would have to be it ain't safe with, with Benny, man. Shout out, shout out to the butcher. Man, him did that joint a while ago. We did that. Uh, that came out two thousand. That came out last year. We did the song two thousand seventeen. The song we just held on to it. You know, what I mean, the timing just. It was just all about timing, and. I, I I feel like that was just that was that was probably one of my hardest verses. You know what I mean? That was just my mindset at the time. See, I just go I, when I'm writing music. I, I just go off with thoughts and emotions at that time in my life, or or how I'm feeling, or what I've been dwelling on. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's just the type of music that I be on. I, I like to speak realistic views and thoughts. Like, but it ain't safe. Is, is definitely the one. Hmm. Got you. I mean, what's 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 the what's next for you, man? I mean, you you said you were, you know, kind of gonna, I guess, let let off the gas a little bit, uh, you know, for the rest of the year. Like, what do you? Yeah, but you got your eyes set on twenty twenty, man. So yeah. what's what's coming down the pipe? Well, I got I got I got um. Well, Big Turks just came out Friday. You know, what I mean, I got um, I got maybe one or two projects with with a few producers that I collaborated with that that have come out by this year but okay 2020 man 2020 is gonna be two big projects for me you know what i'm saying two big projects with some longevity behind them you know what i'm saying i want to i want something that's gonna last you know what i mean i watch a lot of artists drop project after project after project and, it, and it's sort of it's like you ain't letting nobody really marinate what you release like mm-hmm. yeah I, I see the people in the majors i watch the majors do it we could do it in this underground you know what I'm saying? Right. I watch, I watch Westside Gun do it. You know what I'm saying? I watch Benny do it. I watch people that that wasn't big superstars do it, and it creates it creates bigger fan base once people get to marinate with the music that you release. So right. I'm trying. I'm just trying to trying to last. You know what I'm saying? Some people batteries die out and they don't recharge. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm trying to stay at full. Yeah, you got to live life too, right? <laughs> Just to absolutely have new content to write about experiences and whatnot, right? And that and that and that and that plays a part in it too. Because after a while, that's why I said people just start rapping about the same thing. You got to live a little, right? You got to do different things. You got to you got to get out the house, man. You can't just sit in the lab every day. For sure. Once you're in go mode like that, you're probably working on an album. That's different. But after the album, you're gonna go outside and live. Right. You gotta you gotta have that time to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to. What you? What's your? What's your kickback mode like, Jamal? Like after you like finish the finish the project or, or, or laid all your verses and and you could chill a little bit. What What you like to do in your downtime? I like to give me a a, a nice lift. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and whatever flavor is around at the time. I'm, I'm a preferably sour diesel strain individual. Um. I like to, you know what I mean? Just smoke and chill outside and just enjoy the view, enjoy life, man. I'll, I'll go for a ride and just listen to instrumentals and just just smoke, chill out. You know what I mean? I might just take my kids to the park and just watch my kids at the park and 
and just value having my children and my family in my life. You know what I'm saying? No I, doubt. I, I look at things in a different view, but I, I, I definitely like to have a nice, nice L in my hand and the, um, and the sun. <laughs> I'm wrong mm. with that. Some G shit right mm, there. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get John Doe to tap into that a little bit more. Yeah, I'm, I'm not still a, working on it. Yeah, I'm not a smoker, Jamal. <laughs> still I, working on it. Oh, you're not a smoker? No, no, no. I don't smoke. Still working on it. Oh, okay. We'll get them there. Oh, you're working on it? Yeah, we'll get them there. <laughs> 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 we'll get them there. <laughs> don't worry about it. You don't, you don't drink yeah, bourbon with me, though. I'll drink you under the goddamn table uh, on yeah. some bourbon. Yeah. He got the drink. Yeah, he, he got the drink game on on, on that, Slam. Can you can have that. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, can have that. Yeah, word. Well, Jamal, what do you want to leave the people with, man? Like, if you got anything you want to get off your chest, or just you, you want to tell people to you know go here to go cop some shit and support. Like, we always like to wrap these things up and just give folks the floor, man. So the floor is yours, the man. Floor is yours. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, well, first and foremost, the world is piff. Um, I like to uh, I like to shout out all my day ones, man, all my fan supporters. Uh, Big Turks is out right now. Me, the homie Rome Streets, and my nigga Lord Juco. Yeah, is out right now. You can hit the link on my bio on my Instagram page at Who Is Jamal Gasol. That's my Twitter as well. You can follow me on there for all updates. Got the merch on deck at jamalgasaw.com, my official website. I'm, I'm going to be dropping different items throughout the year. You know what I'm saying? I got my music up on all music platforms from Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon. You know what I mean? I'm not hard to find. I'm on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Capricorn. I like long walks on the beach, watching the sunset. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. I like generals. General Styles Chicken. Oh, that's you know my saying? shit, Jamal. <laughs> Jamal, that's my shit, man. Where, 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 where do we go get some <laughs> fucking? Game. Yeah, man. Where we get some General Sal oh. up in uh, up in fucking Niagara Falls, man? What's the spot? Oh, you gotta get the. I gotta send y'all some Loganberry, man. I know, I know y'all get Loganberry down there. Coca Cola there. What's Lo? What's Loganberry? What? <laughs> I don't know what Loganberry is. <laughs> you got us. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna send y'all some. I'm gonna send y'all a case too, man. I gotta get y'all a dress. I'm sending out Loganberry. We gonna just we gonna get Loganberry out there. It's, it's like a it's like a juice. It's a juice here. It's like a syrupy juice, but it's more juicy than syrup. I think that's the wrong wording. Um, oh. it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good juice, man. It's a fruit. It's a fruit juice. Okay, but it's, it's it's limited. It's like a Western New York thing. Okay, got Yeah, you. this is like some Detroit Fago shit or something. Like it's kinda like similar. I'm looking it up right now. This okay. can looks crazy too. Yeah, Aunt Rosie's. Yeah, Aunt Rosie's or Crystal Beach. They got the Crystal Beach there you going go. from Niagara Falls. Okay. okay. All right. All right, cool. All right, yeah. Yeah, we'll we get we, that we address get to you. That. We'll get that address <laughs> to you. Don't even, don't sweat it. We got you. Yeah, yeah. Put us up on the goddamn yeah, Logan Bear. Logan Bear. Goddamn. We on some shit. <laughs> he need a sponsorship, Jamal, from Logan Bear. Yeah, yeah. Just that quick. <laughs> well, Word. I got you. Word. Well, Jamal, thank you, man. It's man, been a pleasure sure rapping with you, brother. Great conversation, man. For real. We about to get but, off into the next man. show, Thanks play some of the me, joints. Man. Yeah, we got you covered, man. Anytime you want to, you know, throw something out there and... and Get a feel or, or get some feedback or something. Send it our way, man. We'll put it on. Okay, bet, bet, man. Appreciate y'all, boys, for yeah. real. No yes, doubt. sir. When's that high high school reunion coming up? You gonna have to come down here for like a ten or fifteen or twenty years, something like that. You gonna have to come back to Roswell. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I only I only remember like three or four people like that I <laughs> even went to school with. Like, That's crazy. <laughs> I'll, I only, I only talked to like two of them. I I had I had one of them up on Facebook one time. Like, hey, remember me? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, it's funny because uh, you mentioned North Springs. The 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 hottest shit right now is North Springs is like North Fulton, but it's still Fulton mm-hmm. County. So kids from yeah. South Fulton, like like near the airport and shit like that. They can bus up to North Springs High School. No shit, yeah. really. 
And uh, a lot of a lot of the kids are doing that, man. They're not going to Westlake and Banneker and all no that way. shit. No way, I did not yeah, know that. They're going up to they yeah, going up Banneker. North... I remember yeah. Banneker. Was they doing that back when you was at North Springs, or was it, you know, strictly what, catching the what, catching the murder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We caught we was catching the murder right down the street. If they didn't get the school bus, we caught the murder. No, nah, I'm just saying it, it's kids coming from Southwest Atlanta going to North Springs High School. That's what I was saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to school with people from Flash shows, people yeah. from um College Park. Yeah, yeah, okay. Damn, gotcha. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was coming from all over for the, it's a charter school. Yeah, well, I don't know if exactly. it's anymore, but it is. It is a charter school and, and basically with it being in Fulton County, it doesn't matter what part of the county you live in, as long as you're in Fulton, you can go there. You don't necessarily have to be in the, the neighborhood where the school is, but uh a lot of kids are doing that. Hey. And Fulton County, like the biggest county, right? Right, right, top to bottom, man. It covers covers a great portion of yeah. Metro Atlanta. So yeah, that's yes, that's sir. why they do it like that. Yeah, I had homies from Savannah. Um, I had homies from uh, um, Bankhead. Mm-hmm. I, I, I knew some people down there. That's yeah. what's up. It's Roswell. crazy. Well, yeah, it's crazy how many people pass through Atlanta. Like, Hell yeah, just, even just randomly, even just for a little bit. When the last time you was here, Jamal? I came out to Atlanta back in like 2016. I have uh, I helped my boy move back from from down there. I stayed down there for like a week though. Mm-hmm. But I had went to um, I had went to um, Strokers, but this was after Shorty Low had died. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not Strokers, not, not Strokers. I went to Blue Flame. Blue Flame, boy. yeah. They yeah. got the best chicken wings. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't That's advise. A fact. I don't advise eating in strip clubs, but uh, <laughs> I have I, I have heard about the 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 food at the Flame. I oh, never, word! I've been to the Flame thousands of times, millions of times. <laughs> I ain't never ate in that motherfucker though. <laughs> Fuck that! <laughs> I ain't ate nothing out the Blue Flame. <laughs> Absolutely, and you mean zero. nothing. I mean <laughs> nothing. <laughs> But if if yeah, I if, so if that's my oh, that's my oh. go to though if I if I had to like if some some of my homies came into town they wanted to go to the strip club we might go to Magic City but shortly after or shortly before we gonna hit the flame that's it because that's like yeah, one, that's one of the realest too. spots yeah hell yeah hell yeah, yeah. The cut yeah man I like I like Atlanta though I and mean, I I want to come back home when I was younger I wish I I wish I would have stayed though man I would. I probably it'd probably be a different position in life right now, but Atlanta, Atlanta was was it was different for me, man. Atlanta's a way faster pace than Niagara Falls. It's so so slow up here. Yeah, down there it's like New York City, basically. It's like it's a snap of the finger. Yeah, oh yeah, it's yeah like shit. That. I mean, yeah, it's and, crazy. And oh five oh six, totally different from yeah, fucking totally, twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, it's crazy. It's all, this is off the Mike chain Jones, now, Jamal. Mike Jones was that nigga. It's crazy <laughs> right, right now. Right, right. Yeah, yeah it's man. Crazy in Atlanta right now. But you, wow. you, you good where you at, man. You good where you at. I promise <laughs> you, no doubt. You keep doing what you're doing, man. We got our eye on you, man. Yes, we appreciate you. We appreciate y'all, man. All right, I sir. Got coming. All right, word. Thank That's you, Jamal. Enjoy your evening, my brother. Talk All to right, you soon. Man. Peace. All right, y'all. Peace. Be good. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Wow. All right. There you have it. Jamal Gasol, ladies and gentlemen. That 101 hit different. <clears throat> I hadn't hit the 101 oh, yet. Oh, man. Whew. I mean, really, honestly, mm. I mean, pound for pound, mm. dollar for dollar. Pretty hard to pretty hard to dispute that 101. It's tasty. I'm telling you. Them, them little hints of cayenne. And I tell you what, when Look, I saw uh, that motherfucker come into the liquor store that one time, yeah. and about... Wanted to flip, fight. Flip. Wanted, wanted to, to fight. fight in that well, he's about to break every bottle of everything in that liquor store because they didn't have 101. I was like, damn. And then I met somebody, or I was talking to somebody who said that their go-to bourbon was 101. Like, like I don't know, a couple of days ago. And I was like, you know what? I hadn't had some 101 in a while. Hey, man. I appreciate you having it in here, man. Yeah, man. I'm about to get me another snort. 
Get ready for this <laughs> next show. It's going to be live now. The motherfucker uh, don't even count. Uh, totally different from last week. Uh, we got bourbon in the house tonight. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's going down. We are the guard. We are the guard. We are the yeah, Southern yeah, Vanguard. Yeah, yeah. DJ John Doe, Cappuccino yeah, Meeks, yeah, twice a week Meeks, twice a week Doe, Meeks and Doe, Southern Vanguard Radio. Get ready. We out. Peace. Peace.